Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and this will be a review of Fear the Walking Dead, Episode 6 from Season 7. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up to Fear the Walking Dead. In this episode, it's, I guess, kind of a love story, the Al love story continuing, and possibly one of the only happy endings we may ever get in The Walking Dead, if you want to call it a happy ending. But this episode definitely centered on Al and her relationship with Isabel, and Al leaving Morgan's group to go out on her own again or deciding ultimately to go back and find Isabel and, and be with her. The M wraps out of fuel, so she's packing up pretty much and is going to head out. But of course, the reclamation team, uh, the title of the episode being Reclamation. The reclamation team we heard back in season five about it first, a team that comes in and just eliminates all threats and any uh, anybody that might have seen a helicopter, you know, anything like that. The reclamation teams come in, is looking for Isabel. So Morgan and Al, pretty much through the whole episode, are going back and forth about different things. I mean, it's cool about the reclamation team and the stuff we saw. The cannon, a little unbelievable, but the cannon, you know, blowing them apart. That was pretty crazy. Al uh, testing the cannon out and all that kind of stuff. At one point, you know, we don't know where Al's story is going to go. The showrunner did say she will not be in the rest of this season, meaning the story's open. We could see her again. We could not. We don't know. But I think there's something big, and I don't know where they're going to put it unless it's in the movie or something because there's not room left in World Beyond for this to play out. But they focused on that bog tape. Season 5, she gave Isabel a tape bog number seven or something like that and you can see uh in this shot it's several tapes there's several tapes up to 24 at least and this episode gave us another shot just a quick shot of a lid on a box full of tapes saying bog so that story has to play out somewhere or they wouldn't have given us all these clues about it it kind of sort of i thought was going to play out in world beyond but that never materialized so surely they didn't set up all of that bog stuff just to never go anywhere i mean they could have you know they definitely could have but surely that story will be played out i just don't know where or how maybe in fear somehow in the future in a future uh season season eight maybe and it was an okay episode and not really okay episode but okay i mean compared to i guess some of the last few it does look like in the trailer stuff it's going to start ramping up pretty big time uh, at Strand's place and with those stalker people. But these episodes that are character-centered, the anthology style, you know, it's okay for half a season or here and there, but not just season after season like the last two seasons kind of been that way. It disconnects you from everybody else too much. Uh, the fear characters... We don't even know what the heck is going on with some of the characters, where they are, what's happening. You know, so many questions about stuff like where are the kids and and we were asking about Wendell, but we found out he's at Strand's. And some people said Strand was lying, but in the next trailer we do see Wendell, I think. So he is alive and he is at Strand's. I just can't really grab a hold of Fear and its showrunners um, and some of the characters and just some of the way they're writing stuff. So, you know, it gives a story, it, it takes the story forward, but still, it's hard to watch sometimes. And it's hard to review because an episode like this, it's almost even hard to talk about all the little details of it kind of don't matter in the bigger picture of the story. But it was a happy ending. Al ended up going back to Isabel and saying, hey, we're going to be on the run pretty much but we can go anywhere we want to go where do you want to go where do we start so that's cool and hope the best for them now that they've got a helicopter you'd almost think hey morgan let me fly you and grace and the baby and, and sarah and charlie and luciana and the rest of them let me fly you guys real quick like through the fallout and to a better place um surely that's possible in the helicopter they could possibly find padre a lot easier with the helicopter but Al took it for herself. So we'll see how all that plays out, I guess, in the next uh, season. Maybe we won't see Al again from what the showrunner said. But hey, you guys let me know what you think about it. I know this video was kind of all over the place. Not really a direct review, but sometimes it's hard to really review something you just didn't totally 100% get into. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.